Alright, Shep here today. I'm going to show you how to uh, take your screen flow video and burn it to a disc. To do that, first you're going to need to have your video. So, your video is done. And what you're basically going to do is obviously save it. And then you're going to need to go you're going to need to get a program called Burn. And just type burn for Mac and download whichever one applies to you. Once you have that, you're going to want to open burn up. Once that opens, it'll be on the data tab. Just click video and then change this to DVD video. Change the title to whatever you want. Mine will be this. Alright. And go to your video that you have saved. And what you're going to want to do when you're in here is when you have your video it's in a different form so you uh... what you're gonna have to do is convert it which basically converts it to the right format that allows you to burn it onto a disk so what you're gonna need to do is go to your screen flow project and um... you're gonna wanna go to export file export you can change the title whatever you want and this is what you're going to want to do I'm going to go to customize video settings change it to MPEG4 video change the keyframes to automatic click OK sound settings go to mono click OK change it to scale to custom size do 640 I think it should be 680 by four, no, it, it was right before. Six forty by four eighty, and then click export. This will take a decent amount of time, so I will be back when this is done. Right, I'm here again. Now it's done. So when you're done exporting it, it should go to your desktop, or you can change your destination to where you want it to go. Now open up burn again and literally just drag it in and it'll say one incompatible file. So now that it's exported, now it's going to convert it to an MPEG file. So that'll allow you to burn it to a disk and it's going to ask you where you want to put your file and I'm going to put it in documents and then it'll start encoding it and this process takes like two three minutes and the burning process takes maybe five minutes not even it depends how long your video obviously is so this video is six minutes and ten seconds so that should take about two minutes three minutes if the video is ten minutes or longer I would probably suggest that it's going to be maybe five to 10 minutes to take to burn anything above that probably 20 minutes could be less so basically once this is done uh, your file will be ready to burn it will be in the MPEG format so then I will show you how to burn it it's a pretty, pretty simple process just what I'd recommend is getting the verbatim discs, that's the brand, they're called verbatim. Um, DVD plus R and whatever gigabyte applies to you, I have 4.7 gigs, 16 times speed, and 120 minutes. So now that it's done, um, click burn. This will come up, super drive obviously, and uh, put the disc in. 
and a little thing will pop up in the middle of the screen just click ignore and uh, once that's done I will show you what to do from there alright click ignore now this said 16 maximum for the disc I like to go on 8 but you know I haven't had problems and I've burned like 40 discs so far so yeah so you're just gonna burn it click burn and I will come back when this is done because I you probably don't want to sit here and watch so I'll be right back okay now that the, uh, the disc is done burning you should get a disc with the name that you put it under so yeah it's pretty easy you got any questions or comments just hit me up put it in the comments and yeah I'll reply to you see ya